Coming to you live from the from the flag I'm in studio at Pelican Headquarters in Miami, Florida. Hello everybody and happy Friday. <laughs> Because I'm free in my RV. Yeah. Well, good afternoon if you are on the East Coast. Uh, good morning if you are in Australia. Good evening uh, to all of those of you in, in Europe, all over the world. And uh, good morning, Hawaii, also. So, um, how's everybody doing? <coughs> I'm using a slightly different setup here, that's why you can kind of sort of see my ceiling fan there. I've been meaning to remove that ceiling fan for for several years now. Uh, yeah, I got myself a, a smaller monitor here, which is the one that I'm going to be using uh, and, um, online. So, um, who's here? Uh, Kevin Johnson, Robert, Robert, Robert. Uh, thank you. And uh, Robin Minkler, happy Friday. Um, Hello from Western California. Doesn't get any much Western than that. And uh, Jim in DC is here. Mr. CLT in the house. I love the clap track. <laughs> well, you know. Uh, Laura Gunnett, good. Thanks. Good to see you. Great to be here. Great to be here. And uh, Lily Strain, good evening. Sunshine, hello there. And uh, Cindy, hi, Robert, TGIF, TGIF, yeah, for, for real. Um, it's been a good week, though. It's been a good week, for, for the most part. Um, uh, Rafael Munoz, thank you for that super chat. Uh, would you ever sleep in a tent? At some point, I might have to if I ever want to do, like, that uh, rim-to-rim uh, hike in the Grand Canyon or some of the other hikes that I wanted to do. Yeah, at some point, I'm going to have to. Um, sunny Atlantic Beach, North North Carolina, and the bar is officially open. Thank you, thank you, uh, Sonia. And of course, our, um, we're having the same beer as last week, the 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 eighty five O, and this is from Tallahassee, Florida. It's uh, it's our zip code up there in um, in Pelican, as well as you know most of the I think the, the whole Panhandle of Florida. It's uh, 850. It's not a very highly populated area. It's not like, um, you know, South Florida here in Miami. We have like, I think they're going to have like a third area code now. It's crazy. But in any case, here we are. I have a big head here on this one, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Hey there, Dylan Reynolds is here with us. California, Sacramento, California. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Vermont paint from Vermont, of course. Um, wishing you well, thank you, thank you so much, uh, Bruce. And um, our being between the sheets uh, uh, from Oklahoma. So, hello, everybody. Wow, the video looks like 4K quality, it's only the lighting, really. I mean, we're probably broadcasting in 1080, but uh. It's, it's the contrast and the lighting and, uh, you know, my hair and makeup person that it's, you know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, um, what are we doing? I'm going to read some of your comments here. The weather here in New Jersey is great. Good to know, Brody, Brody. The weather here in Miami, it's, it's, it's kind of warm out there, let me tell you. Uh, I wish it was a, a, a little bit uh, cooler. But it is what it is, you know, with our, our winter here in, in South Florida is very, very short uh, from the frozen tundra of North Dakota. Really still cold up there. And hello from Vermont. Uh, hello, small monitor, big chat. Absolutely, we have, how many we have right now? Uh, 229 of you uh, uh, watching at the moment. Uh, and uh, what is the APA for today? It's uh, that 850 that I bought. It's from uh, from Tallahassee. And uh, Anthony Giordano celebrating 10 months of membership. 
Uh, thank you so much for, for, for being a chief pelican head, executive producer, actually. Uh, greetings to everyone. Not as cold here now. Yeah, it's warming up everywhere, I think. Uh, just in time for for the spring road trip. The early blossoms popped today. Get up here soon. Um, if all goes well, it's, uh, do, do you think they're still going to be on like in a week or so? Um... I'm thinking, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go, but uh, I, I cannot go like this moment. Uh, I mean, according to the National Park Service, and I have their website here, uh, but of course that's the prediction. March, March, March 14th, you got a uh, ext of florets. I don't know what that means, uh, ext of florets, but um, and they're still uh, predicting a peak between uh, March 22nd and uh, March 25th or 26th. And I'm going to be there t towards the tail end of that. Hopefully, they'll still be on the trees and not on the ground. So, um, and Susan, Susan Beard uh, just became a chief pelican head. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hey, Robert, love your show, Upstate Pennsylvania. Thinking of going to the Everglades and Key West sometime this year. When is the best time to go? To go? I wouldn't go in the dead of summer. It's very hot, very warm. Uh, and the Everglades, I would not go. Uh, the Everglades are really best uh, enjoyed in winter. If it is, even if it is a little cold, that's when the gators come out and the, and the bugs go away. So you can enjoy everything. All the snowbirds are down here. So, um, so um, I mean, it's already probably too late in the year to go to, to, to enjoy the, the Everglades. The Keys are different because the Keys, you can do a lot of water sports. And then in August, you have the Lobster Fest, which is, which is a lot of fun. So, yeah, Haida Marquette is celebrating 20 months of membership. Thank you for being a chief pelican head. Greetings, Robertico from Tampa, Florida. Hugs and kisses to Willie and your mom. Thank you so much. I, I thought I forgot to tell my mom that we were doing this. Those dates sound about right. So, Jim, um, expect me about, in about 10 days or so, give or take, uh, give or take uh, a day or two. Um, that's the plan anyway. Uh, not much of an IPA drinking, but I'm looking forward to a nice stout tomorrow. So, uh, stout is good. And yesterday was uh, uh, St. Patrick's Day, so I hope you had a... Uh, a nice, uh, a, a nice glass of Guinness, you know. Uh, uh, Grant Benton celebrating nine months of Chief, Chief, Chief Pelican Head. Thank you so much. Um, uh, Robert, been a while. Got a lot of catching up to do. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to, to tell you, and I want to get your, your opinion. I have a bunch of this very long movie-length uh, videos that, uh, that I, I, want, I want to release. Because over over the years, those those are the ones that do the best long term. I mean, people I'm, I'm, people are still. I, I still get hundred thousand views of that driving to the west video from twenty eighteen. So I'm gonna release a couple of those throughout this week. Um, I don't know if I can um, if I should do them like every day or do them all at once. I don't know. I'm, I still have them. So, you, but you're gonna see them. And if you already watched them, just keep in mind there are reruns and then. Um, for next, uh, the following Sunday is going to be um, a, a new location. So, so the, to this Sunday, the day after tomorrow, uh, I'm releasing the season finale for the fall trip, and then I'm going to do uh, like like a like a marathon of of movie length videos of all the all the trips from 2021. Sherry Glasscock, uh, thank you for the super chat. Uh, Wish my husband, Timmy, a happy birthday, March 24th. He's the reason I am a pelican head. We love your videos. Well, happy birthday, dear Timmy. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. And Susan Beard, um, thank you for that super chat. Lost my dad six years ago, and seeing your videos are bringing back some very special memories for me. I'm sorry for your loss, and I'm so glad that... Uh, I'm able to, to bring back those memories. Um, yeah, I lost my dad. Uh, it's going to be eight years now. And that's why, that's one of the reasons why I decided to, to start RVing earlier in life. So, um, 
uh, Naim Tarar. You know, I, 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 I like this tiny little monitor that I have now, but it's, it's harder to read. <laughs> Hello, Robert. You are the best YouTuber. Stay safe. Keep traveling. Keep us entertained. Much love from Pakistan. Pakistan all the way somewhere, like down there. That's awesome. Thank you so much for being here. And... Uh, have you ever, uh, TGIF, have you ever tried Sebastian Inlet State Park? Beautiful, you should try it. I should try it again, I should say. I, I, I was there some years back. I didn't enjoy it as much. It was one of those weekend trips. The weather was bad. We lost power at the RV park. And, uh, yeah, so, um, but I got to see one of the best sunrises I've ever seen. Uh, I, saw the, I saw the green flash for the first time, in fact. Uh, Dookie Chips, thank you for that super chat. Robert, I am back from Puerto Rico after two months. I'm bummed. Uh, send me some words of encouragement. Um, encouragement. Uh, uh, Puerto Rico is good, man. I want to go back to, I want to go to Puerto Rico. Uh, for sure, for sure. Uh, starboard bow, spring break, yucks. I'm in starboard bow, traveling back east to help mom from out from California. Go to south as much as I can. Any recommendations from the crew? Uh, from uh, from California? I don't know. I don't know. Back east. Yeah, hug that, hug that, you know, the, uh, you, you know, US 98 or whatever US, you know, it's a. Uh... Have you flown the drone? I fly it pretty much uh, wherever uh, I am that it's uh, allowed and safe, you know, weather wise. Where will your winter series take place and when can we see them? That, that's going to, I'm going to start do those in about two weeks. And um, it's going to be uh, some Florida, some Florida panhandle. Some of some of it is going to be that trip we did. Uh, we haven't done much in, in winter, to be honest about it. Um, we're going to do the Natchez Trace Parkway. As I, I'm, you know, I'm working on catching up. That's why I haven't uh, done as much uh, uh, this this winter, because I wanted to catch up, to be honest. And this beer is kind of it's kind of warm back here, believe it or not. It's, it's one of those days, the studio lately is usually uh, on the cold side, but today is kind of uh, warm. Um, the Traveling Man, thank you for the super chat. Uh, greetings from St. Albans, Queens, New York. Please say hello to the love of my life, Valerie. Uh, thank you. Hey, Valerie. And uh, Darlene Barcelo, thank you for the super chat. Uh, hello, Robert. I enjoyed your podcast this morning. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad. And uh, yeah, it, it was a slightly longer one. I was talking about all the YouTubers that I watch, and I missed a couple, of course. But Johnny Kite Bartolo, thank you for that super chat. Hey, Robert, can you please wish our buddy Mark a happy birthday today? Hey, happy birthday, dear Mark. Happy birthday to you. And uh, Grant Benton, thank you for that super sticker. And it's like a, like a maraca. <laughs> That's super good. Yay, Super Chat is working. Yes, it is. Last week we had some kind of hiccup. I don't know if it was the slow internet at Pelicamp or, or they're changing things. And now they're coming up with something called uh, Super Thanks. Super Thanks or something like that. Something like that. Uh, so... Uh, Laura Gannett, I noticed you've driven by the Grand Basin National Park a couple of times. Did you know they do tours underground? People used to party in those caves during Prohibition. Interesting tour. And uh, actually, I've only driven by it once, uh, I think, that I recall. But here's the, here's the deal. Uh, when we go to the West, I intend to come back on... on uh, on US 50, and US 50 goes right by Great Basin National Park, so I intend to to, to stop by there. Uh, Gabriel S., hello from Johnny Ryder, and I, hey Gabby. Uh, Johnny Tadlock, what camera do you use for your walks through cities? I use two main cameras when I'm uh, out and about. Let me show you. Oh, 
Okay, this one even has, it still has the, the, the tripod mount, but this is the GoPro 9. It's all beat up, even the glass in the back is broken. But this is what I use, like, if, if I am, you know, speaking on camera, this is my selfie camera. This, this is a media kit, the, the media uh, mod, which has a decent, very decent microphone, so I don't have to, like, you know, I, I, in the past I've used a lavalier, sometimes the audio has been really bad. But this audio is very good, and this is the one that I use if I'm walking and I want a wide angle or if I'm speaking on camera. Then if I want to zoom in on anything, this is it. This is the, 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 the Sony uh, FDR-AX53, and if you look closely, the lens kind of bounces inside there, and that's kind of like a, like a built-in gimbal inside, so it gives an extra stabilization. And sometimes, if I need, even if, if I'm really, really zoomed in all the way, uh, if I need extra stabilization, I use uh, uh, an, an effect on Adobe Premiere Pro that is called Warp Stabilizer. And that works great 80% of the time, 90% sometimes. <clears throat> Those are my main two cameras. And then on the roof of the trailer, I have a GoPro 7. And uh, the GoPro 7 is the one that I also use if I'm going to go to the beach or, or to a pool for like underwater photography. I don't use this one anymore because I cracked the... The, the viewfinder, so uh, it's not waterproof anymore. Tania Martinez, thank you for that super chat. Thank you. Hi, Robert. Happy weekend. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much. Uh, uh, traveling Robert, Pelicamp is looking good. Lisa Lisa here. Um, uh, are you still thinking to create containers? Palm trees are growing awesome back as well. Uh, I don't know if I want to use containers or just a tiny home. I don't know. Eventually, I want to have a permanent structure there. But I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. And now summer's coming. So I'm not... Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to go there from time to time. But not as often. Some, summer is kind of miserable at Pelicamp. I want to go during scalloping season, which is, I believe, July. And uh, July, August. And do some... Maybe I'll get to do some scalloping. You never know. Uh, Joanne Marie Gagnon. Thank you for the soup. Chat. Loved your podcast today. Here's to help with gas. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to do all, all the help I can get in that department. <laughs> but it is what it is. I think prices went down like a couple of cents uh, uh, yesterday. So, uh, Rochelle Katz, that Sony is awesome. Yeah, I, I really like it a lot, that, that Sony. I had the previous uh, model, which is the AX33, that I broke in Sedona back in, in 2018. So, uh, uh, the Dub Squad, I man, can't wait to get one of those cameras. Yeah, they're good. They're not cheap, but they're good. William and Rizzari, Robert, Robert, are you receiving my posts? Apparently, I am. <laughs> uh, William is Rizzari here in the house. Uh, gas prices five dollar per gallon. It's still at like four twenty here in Miami, four four thirty, but it's different everywhere. Uh, <coughs> oh, brother! Watching from Bucky's. Yeah, Bucky's. I can't wait to stop by Bucky's one of these days uh, on my way north. Um, are there any buckies like uh, on the I-95 corridor? Well, yeah, the, the one in Daytona. <sighs> California, when are you coming? And DC and PS is my sister's birthday, March 22nd. Uh, so, well, happy, happy birthday to your sister. Um... Highway 50 suggestion, Eureka, Opera House, and Nevada Northern Railway Museum in Ely. Yeah, definitely going to that museum in Ely. Uh, where's the Eureka Opera House? I have to look that up. But, uh, yeah, that, I mean, we're talking US 50 is going to be, it's going to be hot, actually. I'm going to probably choose the worst possible time to do US 50. But uh, since I'm going to be out there already, you know, might as well. Uh, I'll, I'll do the Nevada section as, as 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 quickly as possible. Hey, Bob Leach. Um, uh, while touring the Natchez Trade Parkway last fall, we stayed across Mississippi River View RV Park. 
It's in Vidalia, Louisiana. Ever heard of it? Well, that's what we're going to... I, I already did the, the Natchez Trace. Uh, and that's where we stayed, actually. Uh, the one night before beginning the Natchez Trace. Very nice park. The, the, the river view part of it is kind of misleading. Uh, because there is a big levee. I mean, you you can't really see the river from the uh, the sides, but then you, you you hike a little bit, and then the river is right there. Um, Rocking Roxy, thank you for that super chat. I'm driving, driving in my RV, driving from Florida Gulf Coast to Denali, Alaska this summer. Oh, I envy you. What should I not miss miss on the way there? I mean, it depends what route you want to take, but if you're going to take the Alcan. Um, everybody says you have to stop at, at, at Banff and Jasper in Canada and just watch. Uh, there's a couple of people who have done that trip and everybody pretty much stops at the same spots. I would recommend you look up the Motorhome Experiment, uh, KYD, Less Junk, More Journey. They all did that trip like three years ago. And uh, and, and, and that would, would look look up those videos about them. I haven't done that trip yet. Uh, and uh, actually, the motorhome experiment did a, did a, did a great job uh, documenting that. Paul and Lorena, so check them out. Uh, Rochelle Cats, thank you for the super sticker. Thank you so much. And there is a... Uh, what is that? Shiba dog with... Uh, <laughs> Uh, with Japanese fans. That's super cool. <clears throat> Jim in DC, do you have a standard size memory cards you prefer for your cameras? Well, almost every camera now is coming with micro SD. That, that Sony comes with the regular SD card. SD X, H, X, X, C, right? They, 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 and it's very picky about what card you put in there. And if you have that Sony, it has to be like the 95 uh, megabit per second. Uh, or megabyte per second, whatever it's, it has to be a very fast card in order, in order to work uh, properly. But uh, yeah, that's uh, da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, Oh, man, I'm really behind on this chat today, am I not? Uh, G Gary Soldan, thank you for that super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, hey, Ely is here. Honey. Has anybody seen my mom? I think I forgot to, to remind her uh, we, were, we were doing this. Maybe I should text her. Uh, Sherry Glasscock, thank you for that super chat. Uh, please tell me how to see the podcast. Well, the podcast is, is actually audio only. And um, that's on, uh, on iTunes or whatever you know, you, whatever podcast app you have on your on your phone. Actually, it, it shows up in, on my Facebook page too. But it's called Living the RV Dream. And if you search for Living the RV Dream in the, in the podcast app, you should be able to to find it. And um, well, I had some texts text uh, here from from these. Where's my mom? Let me remind her, because uh, I haven't seen her here, and uh, um, Mini Winnie 3 Flex, pros and cons. I'll start with the pro plus. I like all the technology they're putting in there. I like uh, having the lithium battery, and every, everything works well together. For the, I mean, it is, uh, it is technology, and there, there's going to be a glitch from time to time. Do not. Do not turn on the AC and the microwave at the same time. You will lose power. Ask me how I know. But um, those are the, the, the big pluses. It's very comfortable inside when the slide is out. That, the negatives, it is very uncomfortable. It's kind of uncomfortable when the slide is in because it's not meant to be used with the slide in. You cannot fully open the refrigerator and that kind of thing. Con, I would like to have an option to have a, an, an, an absorption refrigerator because sometimes when you get a couple of of cloudy days, that 12 volt refrigerator is a drain on that battery and it'll, it'll prevent you from, from staying longer. And um, my third con I would like to have, a, and that's something that you can install aftermarket. I just can't install it on mine because it is not mine. I'm just borrowing it. A DC to DC converter so you can charge while, uh, while driving, you know, with the alternator. 
it doesn't come with it uh, from factory. So that would be it. Uh, but uh, for the most part, mo 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 most of most of everything is a positive. I, I I really like having that lithium battery and being able to to monitor the lithium battery on the on the phone. I mean, there's an app. It's super cool actually. So some of these things that that. Uh, now I take for granted, but you know, I'm, I'm actually in a couple of days. I'm gonna be towing Minitini One, and that's that's a project. I don't want to talk about it much, but I'm I'm, um, I'm I'm kind of giving Minitini One some TLC. I want to have it road ready, just in case I want to take a short trip with it. I, I mean, I'm keeping it. It's there, uh, sitting uh, for the most part, sitting at Pelicamp. But I do want to have it road worthy, so. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get some work done on it next week, uh, most likely, and um, and we'll see. Do you ever use beer in your cooking? Yes, I do. That I you know have you seen my famous beers too? Yeah, <laughs> and I used to do it with a stout with a Guinness. Now I've got, uh, and I learned about that. You know, the, it's, it's based on it's it's like a combination of the of a, a Belgian beers too. And a Cuban carne con papa, which is meat and potatoes. So, yeah. A Robin Minkler, thank you for that super chat. Thank you so much. Buenas tardes, Chico. How often do you have to clear the land at Pelicamp? Or do the trees go back, grow back fast? This is usually bushes that the trees don't grow back. I don't let them grow enough. Now in the winter, you don't really have to do much. In summer, with all the rains and all that, yeah, every time I go, especially if I take like a month or two months in between, um, yeah, I, uh, I, I I have to, you know, uh, whip out the lawnmower and and, and mow. You know, what, 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 I, I don't want to clear everything, but uh, the main areas that you know I, I, I do. Uh, how do you stay cool on overnight stays at Walmart while traveling during the summer? Well, I, I don't. Well, the, the new trailer, and I haven't done that yet, but uh, at some point I might. Um, uh, um, and on the new trailer, you know, I get, we get three, or, three to four hours of, of air conditioner on battery uh, power. So that would be a good thing. But in the past, you know, once or twice I, I fired up the generator. For a couple of hours, you know, just to cool down until it, you know, until it got uh, cooler outside. But uh, yeah, we've spent uh, one too many uh, hot summer nights at Walmart. Yes, fridge drains battery. Glad I have a fridge with propane option. And this fridge, I mean, it's 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 pretty efficient, but still, it's that drain. You know, it's it's, it's 60 to 90 watts, uh, especially when it's warm outside. So perhaps a doggy door in the fence at Pelly Camp. Um, Perhaps, but then you know how do how do the, how does this, the fence um, recognize a cat versus a raccoon or other animal? You know, we'll see, we'll see. If, um, for now, the fence is up. We, the fence is uh, up all around it, and um, and maybe when I want uh, the uh, Kate, the, the the friendly pit bull, to come in, I'll leave the front gate open. You know, so. Um, but Nick, you prolazu. Robert, your shows are super interesting, exciting, and educational, uh, 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 and like us, parents or children love to watch. Uh, great greetings from Smadervo, beautiful city on the Danube uh, from Serbia. Serbia, one of those places, one of those countries that I want to visit, man. I want to visit. Beers too looked amazing. Yes, it does. And uh, she, oh, thank you. And I, the first time I had it, I had it when we went, the, the only, the one time we've been to Belgium, we, we went to Bruges, and we had some of those uh, French fries with, with mayonnaise they, they do, and um, the waffle, and then we had that beer stew, and I'm like, oh, this is amazing. Robert, love your Oregon video. Are you going to go back anytime soon? Yeah, as part of the Lewis and Clark trip, as you know, Lewis and Clark you know, finish the trip right there in, in the, on the on the Oregon coast. So, okay, here's a tip from Jim. Uh, per fuel for those running diesel, highly recommend the TSD discount fuel card. Right now, a lot of TA and Petros have a, a dollar off pump price. Oh, that's that's a good that's that's good to know. 
And I just found out on the, in the Grand Adventure uh, YouTube channel that now um, a love, uh, Loves is going to have like full hookup sites, self-service full hookup sites. I can't wait to try one of those. <clears throat> Lately, I've been losing my voice. I don't know what's going on. You'll notice it in, in the, on the videos on some of the voiceovers. Is the, is the weather at Pelican hotter than Miami? It generally is a couple of degrees lower, actually, because it's farther north. Like especially still right now at night, it's going to be warm in Miami, but it'll cool down in Pelicamp probably to, to the, still this time of the year to the high 50s maybe. So, yeah. Uh, when are you going to start renting Pelican space uh, uh, or your new land in Tennessee? Well, we, we ended up not getting the land in Tennessee, by the way. Uh, but Pelicamp, I'm not going to rent them like rent them. I, I, I'll have occasional guests, you know, eventually, occasionally. I, but it's not something that I, I want to rent or, or have it be a public campground like that. Will you ever visit Dallas, Texas, uh, calling McSherrill? Uh, hopefully. I really hope so. I really hope so. I, I, uh, it's one of, it's one of the, the great American cities that I haven't visited yet. So, yeah. Okay, Grant Benton, thank you for that super sticker. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, from Dorina Parks, your videos are fun and in, in, informational. Thank you for letting us in. We love, or um, probably live, right? It's one of those autocorrects, Vicar vicariously through you. So thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, William Irisari, question. How is the tick situation there at Pelican? We have ticks, yes. I've had a couple of them, especially if they're close to the, to the, to the ground. So like when I, was, when I was assembling the shed, I got a couple of them. You know, I was able to remove them with no problem. I didn't get any, any disease or anything like that. But yeah, we have ticks. And I do have a... A granulate that I spray whenever we're gonna be there for for a longer period of time, especially in the summer. And uh, but uh, they're a problem. Yahaira Marchetti, thank you for that super chat. Our help with the Lewis and Clark trip, my friend. Enjoy. Thank you so much, Yahaira. Thank you. And Odie, um, uh, yeah, it's gonna I mean, the trip is gonna be it's gonna cost double what it was gonna cost originally. But you know, it's it's cost of living cost of doing business i have you know i'm, I'm not gonna stop traveling uh, after that trip i, I might it, it, it all depends but um, i i i came out, i i was editing a video a couple of days ago it's it's gonna come out soon it's my longest video ever five hours and 17 minutes and it's like the great arizona road trip it's basically a compilation of all the videos that i did of arizona in january and february um it's one of those longer videos that I'm going to post. And I came up with this great idea of doing, like, maybe uh, next year at some point, the great Florida road trip. And we'll just do a road trip in Florida, concentrate on one state at a time. Then the great Georgia road trip. And instead of just zooming cross-country, um, just to, to, to do, uh, like, a Lewis and Clark or one of those trips, just do one state, spend a month in a state and do, uh, you know, pretty much everything there is to do in that state. If if uh, if fuel prices keep going up, that that's something that I might do, and it might be interesting. So, um, my car would put the dye in diesel. Gas seems to have come down a little bit. Uh, Jerome, Mapp, it's good to be here again. Uh, love overnight at Walmart. Traveling Robert, love uh, TSI card. All right. Hoping you will share more cooking recipes in your videos. Love the sausage and the beans too. And definitely, um, actually, I started following this channel. It's in Spanish, but he's he's like a, like a like a, you know he does like the very traditional Cuban guy, you know. And I have a feeling he's one of these guys that we, if you ask him, no, there's only one way to cook black beans, and this this way. Of course, I kind of tend to modify the recipes and add uh, ingredients here and there or subtract or sub subtract for that matter. But I'm going to start watching his channel and see like what the... He's, he's, really, he's really good explaining. His name is Cocina con Fujita. It's, it's in Spanish, you know, like 
like kitchen with Fujita, his name. His name. So, um, yeah. Hey, questions. What are your plans if the Lewis and Clark trip has to cut short due to Omicron? Omicron. Yeah, I know. I've heard the news. Um, you know, I I I, I traveled almost cross country uh, in 2020 when it it, it it can't possibly be worse than than 2020. And uh, I just you know went to places where there weren't many people and. And luckily, the, the, after St. Louis, really, or Omaha, you know, once you get past those places, there, there's no, there are not very highly populated places anywhere until you hit Portland. So um, I think we're going to be fine. I think we're going to be fine. How much are gas prices in Miami? Dookie chips, they're about, uh, I, I actually filled up today. I think it was 420, 429, something like that. They're a little higher actually in northern Florida, but it's around there. Barry 81 Jones, thank you for the super chat. Thank you so much. Oh, is that like a like a tick uh, recipe? It works for bugs and ticks. Keeps mosquitoes away. Also, recommend for everyone camping. Oh, that's that's a good that's a good idea, Lisa. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Josefina Martinez. That uh, seems uh, would be a good great idea. That we can know more all, all about the state. Yeah, I'm thinking of doing that. Um, Salute, brother. My pair away live. Wishing to continue uh, continue enjoyment of the road riding in your RV. Thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, OCLT, I would love to stay, my friends, but I have a hot day tonight. But it's hot out there, so I, I, I'm sure it's... <laughs> that's not what you mean, but... Anywho, uh, with my love, Andrea. Robert, you and Ely are more than welcome to join us tonight. Just text me. I, I'll, I'll text you. We, we were actually thinking of doing something, but I'll, I'll text you if we decide on something. All right. I think the reason it was so difficult for you to find a lot, uh, lot space during summer 2020 is because uh, everyone was out of work and camping instead. And uh, I mean, I did, I did find. Uh, it's it's not like I have uh, been home. There were a couple of nights. I, I won't lie. There were a couple of nights that I'm like, you had to throw my hands up in the air, and I'm like, okay, we'll we'll do Walmart, we'll do a Cracker Barrel, we'll do a rest area. I remember one night in Tennessee, actually, I had to ask permission because they had, like, no overnight signs. But I talked to the security guy, and I'm like, I think I could crash for a couple of hours here at the, the welcome center. And the guy say yes, said yes, you know. I would never uh, let a, you know, a tired driver on the road. And, uh, and that was very nice of him. And that was at, uh, I believe that was the, the North Carolina welcome center. So I mean, you never know. You know. So sometimes, if you ask nicely, uh, you can. You know, just don't stay for three days and, and, and put out your your barbecue. You know, John Anthony Giordano, thank you for that super chat. Please visit New York State again, uh, one of your states. Still, so much more to see. I know, and I have a plan. I have a plan, but I have many plans. <laughs> but the Adirondack Mountains. Uh, still need to be seen, so hopefully you can stay at my place in New Jersey anytime near Morristown. All right, thank you so much. And uh, Nick Theo, hello from Oregon. Great video, Robert. Question: Which state do you like more? I'm kind of partial to Arizona for for many reasons. Um, I mean, there are, there are many states, they all have their pros and cons. But Arizona has so much variety of, of terrain, of, um, of climate. Um, of course, as far as national, natural beauty, probably nothing beats California uh, or, or a place like that. Oregon is beautiful, too. Um, I like Florida. I'm from here, you know, it's my state. Um, I was pleasantly surprised by New England, what I saw. I liked a lot. I, lo I love Northern Georgia. I love the whole Appalachia area, you know, the whole Appalachian mountains. And, 
even North Dakota. You know, it's uh, one of those uh, young Dave Lewis and Clark tip trip. Are you stopping at Pom Pompey's Pillar? It's kind of sad. They have to have a security setup to re to prevent vandalism. What's Pompey's Pillar? I have, I don't know where that is, but I'll add it to the trip. Pompey's Pillar. Well, if I, if I spelled, okay, yeah, yeah, I already have a start on on it. Pompey's Pillar, yeah. Yeah, it's a national monument right there on the... This one is on the Yellowstone River. I don't know if I'm going to do that one on the Lewis and Clark trip because I'm, I'm going to follow more the Missouri, which is farther north. But uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Because I, I know, I know Lewis and Clark, they kind of did a bifurcation and Lewis went on the on the right. He went on the on the Missouri and Clark went on the Yellowstone or vice versa. So yeah. Let me refill everyone. Uh, thank you, Sonia. I still have a little bit. And there, my my other beers are, are in the in the camper, so mm -hmm. When are you doing California and DC road trip in spring? Well, DC is going to be soon. Then we're going to take a break. And by the time we make it to California, it's probably going to be June. Maybe we'll make it in May, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be June. Of the 50 states that you have visited, states that you have visited, which one is the, the last one that you have visited? Well, I still haven't been to Hawaii, so that's going to be the last for sure. So, um, Jimmy DC, well, I have a parking space very close to the cherry trees that got your name on it, if you'd like. Well, I, you know, thank you very much. Let me know. Send me an email or, or a private message and we can uh, uh, do that. I was going to take the the public transit. I'm, you know, we're probably going to stay at Cherry Cherry Hill Park, which I hear is, uh, it's uh, has, uh, but I wouldn't mind driving into town and then, uh, you know, especially since I'm traveling with my mom. Uh, Thumper Squid, thank you for that super chat. Why we well we, why losing State Park in Wisconsin along Mississippi? We gotta we gotta do we gotta do the Mississippi. Uh, I wanna do that whole Mississippi, and I'm getting a text message now. Who's texting me? Um, Duke Chips, Australia. Uh, thank you so much for that super chat. Australia RV trip will be awesome. Yeah, Australia is on the short list for next year or the year after. Uh, and Natalie Driscoll, going to Hawaii in August. Hey, enjoy Hawaii. We're going to go eventually. Um, yeah, we're gonna, it's one of those places, you know, that since you can't drive to it, uh, but yeah, eventually we're gonna go. We have to. We have to do it. We have to do it. Jacob Bennett, thank you for that super chat. Thank you so much, my dad. Um, my dad Kevin is a huge fan from North Carolina, and his birthday is this weekend. Could you give Kevin from North Carolina a happy birthday shout out? Happy birthday, dear Kevin from South Carolina. Happy birthday to you. Yes, sir. Jim, there will be laughs tonight with me and chocolate wine. Hey, Lucky Dog Productions moderator. I have to go visit you in the land one of these days. <laughs> uh, let me start seeing here some of the... Uh, Lisa, Lisa, do you carry special insurance for the RVs for long distance traveling? Just regular insurance. Just regular insurance. I do have uh, belt and suspenders, uh, roadside assistance. I want to cruise to Hawaii. Just waiting, wait. I wonder 
if they have like a, they have to, right? Have like a cruise from like from LA or San Francisco. That would be a cool cruise to take instead of flying, just a, a trans-Pacific uh, uh, trip. Airstream should drop the Pottery Barn, barn Edition in favor of the Traveling Robert Morales Flying Cloud Edition. Limited production, fully equipped. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Monabego is going to like that, but hey, you know. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I never got that Pottery Barn Edition. I know, I know it's like a design thing, but um, what can I tell you? Uh, Robert, tell us about the amazing music you have in your videos. Well, that the, the music in my videos, for those of you new to the channel, you know, I started, uh, I, I, some of my first videos I, I used uh, something, and we were talking way back, before YouTube, this was, I started doing this as a video podcast, believe it or not, uh, back like in 2008, 2009, I did several video podcasts, and the main thing it was I used something called Pod Safe Music. And then when I posted those videos on YouTube, uh, they all got, you know, copyright uh, violations. So I said, you know what, I'm a musician, I already have a couple of songs. And then I started writing music, you know, kind of related to, to the videos. And this all started like with the, with the California Cruiser back in 20, 2010, was it? When, when was it that we went to California in the, uh, 2012? Um, actually, Alaska was one of the first ones that I did. We went to Alaska in 2010. And then a little bit here and there, I started adding. And now, nowadays, I have pretty much a, a tune for every uh, for every single theme or occasion or, or, or that I need. And and I, I'm gonna keep 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 writing music, uh, you know, over the years. Think about visiting Tarpon Springs when I'm in Florida in May. Is it a good place to see? Yes, it is. It's it's a it's an authentic uh, Greek town. It, it's not very very big. You can probably see it in one or two or two days. They have the sponge docks there where they're selling, you know, actually real sponges. That's that's how how the town started. Uh, Greek immigrants, uh, you know, uh, fishing for sponges, and uh, they have a very nice a, a Greek a cathedral, and. Uh, and it is actually an authentic, uh, you know, the, the 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 heritage is there. Great Greek Greek food too. Uh, Sherry Glasscock, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Uh, we will probably not be able to join the live chat next week. We will be camping and maybe not good internet service. So I want to support the cherry blossom trip. Uh, have fun, Illy, Robert, and Mama. Thank you so much. And yeah, the cherry blossom uh, trip is coming soon. Uh, you know, my my mom says she's been um, looking forward to seeing the cherry blossoms since the last time she was in Washington. I mean, the first time she was in D.C., which was 1958. So she's been waiting for a long time to, to see this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take her. Remember the Italian made class B you reviewed at the Tampa Review Show? Wonder if they have been delivered yet? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. That, that that was a cool class B. It was more like it was kind of technically. And let's do it well actually here. Technically, it's, it is a small Class C because it is built on a cutaway chassis. That's the main difference between a Class B and a Class C. A Class B is built on the on a van chassis. A Class C is like a fiberglass body on a or on a, or, or but the, the sleek ones, the ones that looks like B, the B plus or whatever. It's really a Class a sleek Class C. So yeah. Uh, I really, I wonder too. I, I, I was pleasantly surprised by by the, the 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 space utilization on that one. Bucky's to open in Richmond, Kentucky, at exit eighty three on I seventy five by April eighteen. Also, one coming to Florence, South Carolina. They're popping up all over the place. Um, that's one of those companies that I, I wish I could buy stock, man, because they. <laughs> yeah, you got cruises from LA or San Francisco. Okay, for, for the four days to the islands, four days back, or six days around the islands, a stop in Ensenada to make the cruise PVSA legal and then back home. Okay, so, so, you, so you're actually going outside the country. That's good to know. I would love, I'm not a cruising person, but it's, it's been a while. And I don't like these cruises, like, and I, the ones that I've been to a lot, you know, like the Caribbean, that's the only cruises I've done. 
And then you're like, you show up in like Cozumel at 9 a.m. or early in the morning. And by 3 p.m. you have to be back on the boats. I'm like, what is this? You know, I'm, I ne ne you never get to see anything. But maybe a cruise like that where you can get to stay um, a little longer. Yeah. Uh, Thumper Squid, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. A Winnebago Solis pocket would be awesome for me. Would you ever travel in a camper van? Maybe rent one? Yes. Actually, if for, for a long time, I've been uh, I'm thinking I've had that camper van idea in my head. Uh, I'm more in the Travado camp. I want a little more uh, comfort and room. But the Solis pocket, it's, it's very nice. And, and that one, you're guaranteed that you can park anywhere because, because it's so nimble and... You can even do the, the going to the sun road, anything, any any road you want. Anthony Bridges, executive producer, thank you for that super chat. You know, I have to do the falsetto. Um, love watching your videos with drone footage of the Southwest. Enjoy seeing every amazing place you visit. You know, thank you so much, Anthony. And, uh, and I enjoy every minute of making them, so... I have to do the, I, have, I have to use the drone more. Sometimes I forget, and sometimes a lot of places you know you don't realize. But it's not only national parks that you're not supposed to uh, uh, fly them. You're not supposed to fly them like in national seashores or national monuments. Any, anything that has national in the name is a no-no. Uh, so um, Monticello, Kentucky. Hello, Heather Lewis. I'm planning a trip uh, for the New England states this summer. What is one must see or do? That you would recommend? Well, I, 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 New England. Well, if you can do Mount Washington with good weather, that that would be awesome. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised by by uh, Burlington, Vermont, and Stowe, Vermont. That whole area. Of course, I was there in the peak at the best time of the year, which is when the when the you know the the, the, the colors are popping, the the, the leaves are peaking, and uh, that would be it for me. And of course, there's Maine. And I was in Maine briefly a couple of years ago, but if you can make it all the way to Bar Harbor or Bar Harbor, you know, eat a lot of, if you like lobster, it's a lobster lover's paradise. Um, yeah. And uh, everybody say hello to my mom. Greetings. Hope you have a nice weekend. Love hugs, mom. Uh, thank you, mom. Cheers. <clears throat> Let me see. Robert, which country would you like to visit and make a video? A lot of countries, man. I would love to. I want to go back to Spain. I want to go back to France. I want to go. I've never actually been to Italy. Um, I want to do the whole, like, the whole uh, UK, the whole island, you know, the whole Great Britain. Uh, do um, do Scotland. You know, do every trip, of course. All this I'm talking about, R3. Um, and... Uh, and then, if the, of course, Australia. Uh, I want to do a little bit of South America. If I could do like the whole Pan American Highway, that would be awesome too. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Videos in Spanish. We needed a. I started a Spanish channel, but. I mean, it's it. Let me. Uh, to be honest, um, sometimes you the, the main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing, and uh, and then I just don't have the the the, the time, you know. So, to I, I rather I I rather concentrate on one channel, making great content, and maybe I can get someone to to eventually finance Spanish subtitles. I would be open to if someone wants to, uh, you know. It, they're, they're very expensive. It's like three bucks a minute uh, if I were to pay for them. So, uh, and it would be very time consuming to do it myself. So, uh, eventually, uh, eventually we might be able to do that. Uh, I, I know there's a large, uh, s s you know, Spanish audience. I mean, you can do the automatic translate. If, if you turn on captions, there's a way to automatically translate into any language. And I will try that. Lobster Lover's Paradise, it is, it is. You know, I almost clicked on that link. 
but uh, thank you RV DJ for being so quick to to remove <laughs> I'm telling you I, th I think I think this is the time where, where the trolls and the spammers uh, come visit Northampton UK I'll take you to George Washington's family home among other interesting places Rob on the road if I if you know, if I don't, when I get to the UK, I'm gonna get in touch with you because, yeah, it's always better when you when you, when you have to get the and you know the the, the the insight from someone who lives there. So that definitely, I would love to to do that with you. Uh, Alan Parr, Rick Steves is a good one to watch for Europe travels. Yeah, yeah, but there was a time, there was a time. Um, I want to say probably around 10 years ago that we would, you know, you know when Netflix still sent you uh, DVDs? Well, we rented the whole collection of Rick Steves videos from, you know, the whole thing. I'm sure they're online now streaming, but uh, there is a Spanish channel that's traveling a fifth wheel. If Robert allows, I'll list the page. Yeah, Totalmente Perdidos. Those are our, our friends. Yeah. Our friend Andy and uh, her name escapes me right now, Letty, I think. Yeah. Use VPN to place yourself in Latin country, then select closed captions on YouTube. I, don't, I think you can do it from here, uh, even. Um, boom, chakalaka, troll control patrol. Yes, <laughs> Sonia, that was quick. I almost clicked on it because in this list that I have here, uh, like... When I click on your on your messages, uh, even if you remove them from the main chat, they still show up here. So uh, my friend is in Naples at Pelican Camp. Pelican Camp. I love the Naples. That, that I'm I'm editing that video right now, and uh, I think you're gonna like it because we haven't done a video in Florida in a while, so. Pelly Camp North, a cheap land in northern Maine, good place to spend the summer. Yes, uh, I, I would definitely love to see it, to do that. Yeah, but I must say they're a bit annoying. You're talking about totalmente perdidos. I mean, they're not. They're <laughs> they're, they're good people. I, I, I've met them in person um, three times now, actually. All that RV shows. We met at Quartzite, we met at Hershey, and then we met at Tampa. And I'm officially out of beer, which might be a sign. A sign. Of, come to Brazil, definitely. I mean, BR is Brazil. I would love to go to Brazil. It's one of those countries that uh, I love the music, and I'm sure I'm going to love the, the people and the beaches and all that. So, Hi, Robert, have you a favorite area in Tucson you can recommend? Oh, Tucson is a great, uh, great uh, city. Uh, I mean, I stayed at that Cactus Country every park, which was fine, was was good, was pretty close to everything. Uh, uh, where else? Mount Lemon, Picacho Peak, you know, I'm, I'm about mountains and deserts, so, you know, Saguaro National Park, and there's a boondocking spot BLM land right outside of town there that I can't remember now it's something hill or something like that I forget uh, actually I, I, I have Google Maps here I should be able to look it up right and today I'm in Miami I have plenty of internet there's nothing uh, in Tucson in Snyder Hill if you want to boondock in Tucson Do, 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 uh, Heather Lewis, thank you, Robert, for the recommendation. Love watching your videos. Oh, thank you. Uh, and um, he's home in Miami. Angie, hey, family adventures. I'm trying to see here no IPAs tonight that I, I just finished I just finished my IPA and and 
I have I have two more, but they're in the rig and uh, I can't get there now. But yeah, this uh, eighty five O is the one that I'm having today. It's not the best I've ever had, but it's not the worst either. So. All right, Redneck Gypsy Adventures. That's that's the best way to get a plug here on the channel. Just, uh, <laughs> uh, yes, Lab City, Pelis Lab. I don't know if I'm going to do anything in Lab City, but I've, I've seen there's someone sending, uh, selling land near, uh, what's the name of the town? King, Kingman, between, so somewhere around Kingman. I don't think I, I, I would like a Slab City or that part of the Coachella Valley there uh, near the Salton Sea. But uh, Lily Strain, uh, thank you for that. Su oh, no. <laughs> That's not a super chat. <laughs> thank, you. thank you anyway for your message. Uh, what e-bike do you have? What is a cheap e-bike that you can recommend? I mean, I don't know. There are some very expensive. The other day they were offering me one. I said no. Um, an all-wheel drive e-bike. It was like like five thousand dollars. I have the electric. It's called electric. It's fine. It's it's uh, it's good. I, I don't use it as much as I like to because it's it's kind of heavy, and even though it folds, it's kind of cumbersome to to put in your trunk and whatnot. But uh, uh, hey, Christopher Olson, are you doing any spring tour this year? Uh, the only thing we're gonna probably gonna do in spring right now is uh, going to Washington D.C. to the, to the nation's capital. Uh, for the cherry blossoms and uh, a little bit of you know around that area and then late spring we're finally gonna start doing the Lewis and Clark trip and Mitchell Harachiar Hara 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 thank you for the super chat hello from Homer Alaska what's your where's your favorite burger you know, I'm a simple guy, and some, sometimes a Whopper will do. Let's be honest. There was this restaurant, Beer and Burger Joint was really good. Um, but the best burger I've ever had, believe it or not, was in Finland, in the, tan, in the town of Varkaus. In Finland, at this place called the Oscar. That was the tastiest burger I've ever had. And, um, of course, I was in Finland. You have to eat it like the Finnish do. With a fork and knife. Yeah, I didn't want to go like ah when everybody was like you know with a fork and knife, so I ate it like that. Uh, hi, Robert. Where you uh, like your videos? Where are you at? Uh, we're at uh, this is the Flagami Studio Pelican headquarters in Miami, Florida, our home base. Have you ever been to Pelican Lake in Naples? No, I have not. Uh, Vagando uh, everywhere por todos lados. So I came across a company named Trailer Butler to move the trailer around. Are you still parking, parking alongside the house? I try not to. And Minitini 3 does fit there. I, I measured it before I told, you know, I'm going to beg one. Adam, yeah, this is the one that I want. But uh, since I have Pelicamp now, I parked it a couple of times at Pelicamp. And I haven't been here in Miami long term in a while. So, um I haven't put it in the in the hole. Eventually, I'll have to. But I've heard of that uh, trailer uh, uh, butler device. I've heard of it. And uh, I think it would be a great idea. Uh, uh, Cindy78941, thank you for that super chat for another IPA. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I almost missed that super chat. Did I read this one? Yes, uh, Homer, Alaska, yes. Uh, guys, I'm going to start wrapping this up. Um, uh, Brian, thank you for that super chat. Some gas money. What do you like most about Virginia's Eastern Shore and the Outer Banks? So the Outer Banks, uh, we didn't do all that much in Virginia. Actually, no, but the Outer Banks. You know, I really like Ocracoke Island. So quiet. It's, it's much, so much, so much quieter. Even though we didn't spend much time there, um, but if if there's um, any place that that I would really, really love to return to, it's Ocracoke. Uh, Red Jaguar. Okay, I'm off the clock. Can I have a rum and coke, please? The RBDJ. Yes, Red Jaguar. 
is here. Have you been to Kentucky to the Ark Museum? No, but it's in the plans for the Lewis and Clark trip. That's that's a, you know, that's a detour, but... Uh, Why are the European caravans travel trailers so far ahead of ours here in the United States? Isn't that strange? Uh, the thing with European uh, RVs in general, they, they they are used to being smaller, so they, they are used to having a, a better utilization of all the space. That, that's, that's why I think, you know, that they have to in, innovate in, in, in those areas. And, uh, and that leads to, you know, better technology. And, and uh, in some sense, you know, it... it in some aspects, they're more advanced. In some aspects, maybe they're not, you know. Uh, but um, <clears throat> I think, like, like an American diesel pusher is going to be more comfortable. But, of course, in, in Europe, you know, they have to be small. So they have, like, the, the, that's, like what I have in Mini Tini 3 now, that, that, that Truma Vario furnace is great. It, it doesn't cons consumes half the propane as a, as a domestic, probably. And... Um, Things like that, yeah. Uh, I'm losing my voice here, so I'm going to start wrapping it up. I'm just going to uh, do like a quick marathon here, read uh, real quick. Do, 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 do. Uh, so the art museum, yeah. I tried to do a super chat and couldn't do it, but uh, Minitini Lounge, March 2021, me and my wife Pat loved it. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Um, uh, Christopher Olson, thanks for tonight. See you all next Friday. Bye from Sweden. Sweden. As, uh, I have to go back to Sweden at some point and really visit. By the way, I would love to. I love the. I like the burger question. In and out or, or five guys? Five guys. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what the big deal is with In and Out. I don't like their fries. And the fries have to be good. And uh, yeah. Several great license houses to climb on the OBX, except when I was there, they were all closed still because of the, probably because of the pandemic. Uh, so, yeah. All right, everybody. I'm going to start wrapping this up. I want to thank you all for being here tonight. It's been, a, it's been, a, it's been my pleasure uh, to do this as, as, it, as it always is. 454 of you uh, watching right now. And I think we picked... At 400 and, uh, it doesn't say it anymore, it used to say it, but it looks like 476 around there, so um, thank you everybody, let me bring the guitar, we're going to sing a song, and sing along, everybody sing along, <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> oh man, I'm, I'm really losing my voice. I don't know what's going on. I thought it was the polling in Pelly Camp last week, but it seems to be like a chronic thing, so I don't know. Hmm? I haven't played the guitar in a while. everybody <laughs> riding in my RV wherever I want to be cause I'm free in my RV thank you everybody have a great weekend have a great rest of your uh, gym uh, gym in DC I'll see you next week and uh, the rest of you, see you on the road. Good night.